Allow me to share God's word in the few minutes that are remaining as uh, uh, we continue to honor the Lord and glorify his name. Today is AICMD Day in all AIC Kenya, a day that we remember missionaries, a day that we identify with our missionaries through our giving, and uh, usually we invite uh, a missionary to come and sometimes minister to us, but for today, because of the Trukana report, we had uh, no any invitee coming. And so I want to take you through the sharing of God's word in a few uh, minutes that the Lord is going to give us. And I want to read uh, the book of Romans, Romans, uh, the book of Romans chapter number one. Uh, Paul is the author of the book of Romans and he, he wrote the letter uh, to the church in Rome, to the church in Rome. This was around AD 56 and 57 a time when he, he was finishing his third missionary journey. And so uh, the book of Romans is uh, very central as far as uh, missions is concerned. Paul makes some personal declarations about uh, his calling to reach out and uh, preach the word of God. And today we are looking at verse number 16. Uh, the book of Romans explains uh, many things about uh, uh, Paul's uh, theology on uh, uh, salvation, Paul's theology on uh, redemption, how we are uh, justified by faith. And uh, today, I wanted us to look at his personal declaration on uh, evangelism and uh, missions uh, from verse number 16. Uh, the Bible says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. You know, there are sometimes we are ashamed uh, to speak of our faith in God. And uh, I would say also personally that I'm learning many things. Hata mimi nikitoka hapa tukienda mission, starehe sangu na acha hapa. Niliwambia tulikuwa tunalala na timu kwa pamoja, tuko kwa kandom moja. And uh, we, are, we, are, we are also, uh, tulikuwa kwanza usiku wache nwa, niwachekeshe. Usiku, atukuwa tunaogea kwa bathroom kwa sababu nyoka anaweza kutokea. So... <laughs> <laughs> we were taking advantage of the darkness. Kwa hivyo, wanaume pandile tuko, tunaoga huko inje. We are doing all that together. Munaoga huko, wanawake na wawa kona pande sa kwao. That is a mission. You sacrifice a lot. Because uh, we are not ashamed of uh, preaching the gospel. So, Paulo anasema, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Because it is the power of God uh, for the salvation of everyone who believes uh, First for the Jew, then for the Gentile. Number 17, na tutafika hapo, tutaendelea na mistari mingini because our preaching is in this, these two verses. For in the gospel, a righteousness from God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith, from first to last, just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you uh, for the opportunity that you gave us uh, this year an experience to tour the Trukana account, a count that is, uh, uh, that is uh, having a lot of needs, King of Glory. Talk about uh, uh, spiritual needs. Uh, talk about material needs. Uh, talk about emotional needs because of uh, the challenges uh, the community over there has been going through. We thank you, God, that you gave us an opportunity to tour that count uh, and uh, preach the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and Lord, today as we climax in giving the report, Continue to challenge us on uh, reaching out and uh, preaching uh, the word of God to many. We bless you, speak unto us through the passage that we have read. In Jesus' name we pray. All of us we shout and uh, say, Amen, Amen. In the spirit of uh, missions and evangelism, allow me to share with you today on a topic that I have given the title, Sharing the Gospel of Grace. Is our topic today, Sharing the Gospel of Grace. And I want to say that uh, it is only by grace that we are saved, not of our good works. 
Ephesians chapter 2, verse number 8 and 9 tells us that uh, we were saved by grace through faith. We were saved by grace uh, through faith. And I want to underscore and uh, say that uh, it is not because of something good uh, that we have done to God. We were saved by grace uh, through faith. And that is all what Paul has been uh, preaching uh, in his uh, calling as an apostle. And I want to say that uh, from the passage where we are reading, uh, as he is writing at the end of his uh, third missionary journey, he is saying, I am not ashamed of the gospel. I am not ashamed to speak about uh, uh, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am not ashamed to share the good news of Jesus Christ because uh, this is an opportunity to minister the grace of God to others. Uh, and I want to say this, uh, and I have said it several times, uh, and I am not regretting saying it that uh, this AICU moja can be a comfort zone to many of us. Mbaka tukose kuafikia watu mahali and I was challenging the team the other day as we were preparing and organizing our report that uh, we need even to get out here at Pewa Street and uh, tell uh, the people at Pewa Street about uh, the grace of God. Tualete ndani ya kanisa lake mwenesi mungu. Kwa hivyo we have a duty and an obligation. We have a duty and an obligation to share the good news of Jesus Christ to others. From the passage where we are reading, when you look at verse number 14, Paul is also saying that uh, I am obligated both to Greeks uh, and uh, non-Greeks, uh, both to the wise and uh, to the foolish. Uh, we have an obligation, uh, we have a duty to reach out to the lost. Uh, and therefore, I want to say that uh, we can do many things as a church. We can do many things as a church. But we are, if we are not involved uh, in the work of evangelism and uh, missions, uh, reaching out, out, uh, then as a church we become a mission field. Uh, let me say that uh, sharing the gospel of grace uh, is our core uh, calling uh, to this particular ministry. We can build uh, nice buildings, uh, we can build uh, nice cathedrals, uh, but as a church if we are uh, not reaching out uh, then we also stand uh, to be wanting. Uh, allow me to say that uh, Christians are called upon uh, to share the gospel of grace uh, because of uh, the following. Number one, the gospel of grace uh, has the power to change. The gospel of grace has the power to change. The gospel of grace has the power to change. When we talk about uh, the power to change, we are talking about uh, the power to transform the lives of men and the women, men of us before we received the grace of salvation, we were far away, we were not a people in fact somewhere, when Paul is writing uh, the book of Colossians, uh, he's saying uh, at first we were not a people but now we are a people, a chosen generation of God, can I hear a shout of amen? Yes, so we are there. We are called upon to share the, go the gospel of uh, grace because, number one, the gospel of grace uh, has the power to change. And I want to underscore and say that uh, our duty is to preach. The work of changing belongs to God. Our duty is to preach even as we stand in this altar every Sunday and as we share the good news about Jesus Christ, as we preach about the kingdom of God, our duty and our work is to preach and as, as we preach, the Lord is going to take over and do the rest. That is why Paul is saying, I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God. When we say the gospel, is the power of God we are saying uh, it is only God himself uh, using men and uh, women that he can uh, change the lives of many. When uh, Jesus was preparing uh, the 72 that went out to evangelize uh, they were given uh, the power and you know one thing that I know is uh, even as we obey the calling that God has entrusted unto us uh, we are promised of uh, 
the signs and the wonders. Jesus said, signs and the wonders are going to follow you. Can I assure you, amen? So as we lay our hands on you, as we pray, ni meangalia ni kaona, Marcus vile alikuwa mechapa maombi hapo, katika one of the door-to-door evangelism, ni kaona hiyo maombi siyo ya kawaida, there is a power that is coming down, because Jesus promised that signs and wonders are going to follow those who are going to heed the calling. Can I hear an amen? Amen. So signs and wonders and I want to say this that eh, kuna watu hapa ambao Mungu anaweza akawatumia only that they have not given themselves. Kuna watu hapa wanaweza tumiwa na Mungu and eh, they can even lay their hands on others and they get better because eh, signs and wonders are following you. We are called upon to share the gospel of grace because it has the power to change the power to convict the minds. Hata wale ambao wamesoma they only need to hear about the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ and as we preach there is, a, there is an inner transformation there is an inner metamorphosis that goes on in the lives of people and therefore I am saying that our duty is to share when you avail yourself to share muliona watu walikuwa wanaokoka tunashanga that mungu walikuwa wameanda the trucanas and it is like they were waiting for us five years ago reverend mwoki it is like they were waiting for us ten years ago kabla ujaita water call watu waokoke unaona watu wanalia and they are coming forward to kneel down not just to stand to kneel down our duty is only preaching the work of converting the work of changing the work of transforming belongs to god number two, christians are called upon to share the gospel of grace because the gospel of grace is for everyone who believes that is why in matthew chapter 28 19 and 20 the bible tells us that uh, therefore go and uh, make disciples of all nations uh, we are called upon to reach out to all nations uh, as I share with you our chairman engineer Marcus and Reverend Mwoki I already have a letter from Marisabit Reverend Joseph Diba is calling upon ASU Moja to go and uh, help him plant churches in a Muslim dominated community Marisabit the Boranas that can be our mission in next year because the gospel of grace is for everyone no one is supposed to be left out uh, this week i was uh, uh, seeing it in the social media bruno musumba pastor bruno musumba is a child of asu moja he married here together with laura and pastor bruno is moving over in africa Preaching to men, he has a ministry on men, man up, and he is the chair in Africa on that particular organization. Soon and very soon we are going to call him here and meet our honorable men of ASU Moja. I am saying we have a calling. Some of us we may be here in ASU Moja, but this is not our destination. Our destination may be somewhere in Zambia, somewhere in Lesotho, somewhere in Egypt, preaching the good news of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. What is it that I am saying? The gospel of grace is for everyone who believes. And the last one, Christians are called upon to share the gospel of grace because the gospel of grace reveals God's righteousness to everyone. We don't have our own righteousness. And uh, the book of Isaiah, Bible says our righteousness, our own righteousness is like a few the rags. When you are pointing fingers on someone uh, that you are uh, wrong, that you are uh, a sinner, the Bible says even your own righteousness is like a few the rags. We can only possess the righteousness of God. 
And therefore I am saying that uh, the gospel of grace uh, reveals God's righteousness uh, to everyone. That is why in verse number 17, the uh, Bible says, For in the gospel, righteousness from God uh, is revealed. Uh, righteousness that is by faith uh, from first to the last. Uh, just as it is, as it is uh, written, the righteous shall live by faith. The righteous will live by faith. Can I hear somebody shouting, Amen? The righteous, the righteous by way of having faith in Jesus and receiving the grace of salvation, we shall live. We declare that we shall live. We declare that we shall succeed because it is not because of our own righteousness. Jesus became poor that we may be rich. Some of us, we may not be having a position in this society because even our backgrounds are betraying us. But by the grace of God, we have received a righteousness from God. We thank the Lord for such an opportunity. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord make use of you because he wants to save somebody somewhere. We all be uh, in our prayer moment. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want to say thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to identify King of glory, with those that are lost in his sin, with those that are angry, with those that have not received the good news of Jesus Christ. Even Jesus himself in Luke chapter 4, verse number 19, he declares that the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. And I know you have anointed, here I see you, Moja, you have anointed some men and the women to reach out and uh, preach good news uh, to the poor. Dear Lord, I am praying that uh, we will burn uh, the fire of uh, reaching out and uh, saving souls uh, for Christ Jesus. ASU Moja is going to be our Jerusalem that is going to send uh, men and uh, women to reach out uh, to plant churches in many other places because uh, you will continue to use men of us, King of glory. At times we can uh, even be cheated by our big numbers. We can be cheated by our uh, good offerings, uh, but at the end of the day we are not reaching out uh, and uh, saving souls. Uh, then we are uh, not uh, carrying out uh, the great commission and uh, the great obligation that we have been given by our Lord uh, Jesus Christ. I pray that uh, Lord will cause a change in the lives of many in the ICU Moja. We know that we cannot be a change outside if we, are, we have not personally changed. And I am praying for some of us who are struggling to overcome elementary sins in their lives, King of Glory. Those who are struggling to overcome, yes, even carnality in their lives. It is my prayer that you cause a change in their lives, that we are all going to be ready for the use of the Lord. I pray that you make use of men and women from this congregation to take the word to all the nations in the world. Today, even as we identify with the missionaries through our giving, I pray that God, may you bless us and be with us. We thank you, God, and we bless you. Thank you, God, for such an opportunity. In Jesus' name we pray and all of us we say, Amen. Can we appreciate the Lord? Can we appreciate the Lord? Amen, amen, amen.